All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're checking out Overtunes. It's a random Discord music bot that I selected that plays from SoundCloud, Spotify, Deezer, and more. At least it supports that. I don't know what it defaults to necessarily. But uh, if you go to the server settings and your app directory and you look up Overtunes, it's his first result right here. Uh, the logo here is blue, but it's like a, an almost bronze when you invite it to your server. But you just click on the add to server button and it'll get invited to your server. Then you can check it out as it appears over here in the sidebar. Now, I will say one of the things I don't like about this bot off the bat is if I type in slash help, nothing happens. Like, I don't get a nice little list of all the commands for this bot. Uh, you're pretty much just stuck hitting slash and then looking at all of the different controls that pop up for the bot when you hit slash. And there's, I mean, there's a decent number. There's some filters that every single Discord music bot has. You can invite the bot to your server. You can have it join jump to a specific spot in the queue. It looks like it has the same playlist um, system that every other bot has as well, where you create a playlist and then you can add the queue that you currently have to that playlist. So you can save the queue or save a song to the playlist and then load from playlist if you want. And then it can also play different music it looks like it also has things like you can type in slash gif. Um, dancing crazy mascot. And then it'll look up a, a gif for you as well. That's actually kind of neat. I don't see a lot of music bots that let you load gifs from Tenorshare. So you can look up things like dancing mascots. What was the rest of the stuff at the bottom of that list? You can kick people, ban people, message a user through the bot, which you can already do that through Discord, so I'm not really sure what that accomplishes. Uh, you can flip the table, table flip. Okay, so there's just some fun little utilities at the bottom there on top of playing some music. So let's just go ahead, since I know the bot works basically like every other bot, let's jump into a music channel and let's do my usual routine, slash play, Alan Walker, Dreamer. Okay, so the bot just kind of jumps in here and starts playing some music, so that's kind of nice. And that's at a decently like medium toned volume where it's kind of on the high side, but you can turn it down by just right clicking the bot and then adjusting your user volume. And it's pretty, it's reasonably snappy. So let's add some more songs to our queue. And it's adding all the songs pretty quickly as I type them out. Sometimes bots, even in the middle of the day when there's not like a huge volume of demand on a Monday, sometimes they get laggy and they just don't want to load the song for a while. But everything, for the most part here, seems to be loading all right. Okay. And it just adds all these to the queue and then I can look up the queue. So our queue is current song is Dreamer, next up is Out of Here, Home, Bonfire, and then Ego, so that all looks good. And then if I really want to, does it have play controls in the form of buttons? It doesn't really. I can jump forward and back in the queue, but I don't have like buttons to control pause, start, stop of the actual bot playing, but I think I can slash pause if I want, and that works out okay. Let's type in slash resume to resume the current queue. And then, you know what? Let's create our own playlist just to see if that works. So let's type in playlist, create, um, test playlist. 
Oh, okay, so to use the playlist controls, you have to vote on the bot, so it's not completely free, but the music playing part's free, which is honestly what I want. And a lot of these playlist controls are just slightly janky enough that I personally wouldn't use them, and I'm not sure how many people want them, but I know everyone asks. So if you're curious, what you have to do is you have to create a playlist, so you have one created, remember the name, and then you can save to that specific named playlist whatever songs are in your queue, or you can save the current playing songs, but saving the queue does not include what's already playing, just so you know. Then you can just start playing music and then load more songs from a playlist and add them to your queue automatically. Unfortunately, not a lot of these bots just play directly from your playlist, which is kind of weird and annoying because if this was an iPod, that's what I would want to do. So that's just how all of these work, just in case you're curious. So what other stuff does this bot do? You can create playlists, which I've already done. You can do filters, which I'm guessing are locked behind either premium or locked behind voting for the bot. You've also got the ability to remove things from your queue, save the queue, shuffle the queue, jump to a spot in the queue, all that good stuff. If we type in shard slash shard, it's not sharding our pants, it's actually telling us what the ping is on the different server chunks that this bot uses. And it looks like the, the ping delay is within 100 milliseconds, so that's not terrible. Especially for something like a music bot, that's pretty part of the course. We can look up stats. What does the stats do? Is that just... Is that my stats? Is that like my listenership stats? Oh no, that's just the bot stats. It's currently using under a gig of RAM, currently on shard three or using three shards. It's in 24,000 channels. It's in over a thousand, almost a thousand servers with 142,000 members. Okay, not bad. And its current uptime is it's been running for about four days. Not too bad. I guess we'll just resume here. And there is a test I always like to do. Now there is a test I've been doing lately because I've been noticing a lot of Discord bots have been cheating. And that is they don't remove YouTube support from their bot. So I'm gonna stop the bot. I'm gonna have that, which is gonna automatically clear the queue and I'm going to have it play a link from YouTube. Oh, that's not good. So it does in fact play music from YouTube right now, not just Spotify, SoundCloud, and Deezer. Um, I've got just some general information for bot developers out there. Even if Discord didn't get angry at you, which Discord is not happy when people do this, they will kick your bot off the platform. Uh, YouTube will eventually send you not just a strongly worded letter, but they will physically sue you if you continue to provide YouTube support. And I know a lot of these bots are based off of an API where YouTube supports built in, but you need to remove that for your own well-being and safety, especially if you want your bot to grow and actually make some money off of it as you provide newer and better features. Otherwise, all you're gonna do is get sued and shut down by Google, and no one wants that. Um, let's just pause this, because I don't like this song, but I just kind of grabbed it, because NCS always has songs that don't get me in trouble with YouTube. But aside from that, I mean, it plays music. The vast majority of the core features of playing the music is free. You have to vote to access playlists. Does it have DJ control? Can I... Set DJ. Ah, yes, you can set up DJ settings with this as well. So that's good. You have that functionality. Does this have a website? Let's find out if this has a website. It does. It's got a funky website. Let me just get this over here so you can see it. Um, oh, you can actually see the list of commands here on their website. That's nice. I would like to have a slash help command though like that's usually pretty helpful so i can actually see that and even tells you that you can get started and see the list by typing in slash help but slash help doesn't actually do anything 
Like, if I show you again, if I type slash help, it doesn't, there's no option to it to tie into overtunes. Does this use a prefix still? It doesn't look like it. It just starts telling you to start playing music, which is fine. But again, I like being able to know what I'm playing and like what my options are. So you can kind of see what these things do. You can set it up so it's DJ only. So the bot will only allow commands from the DJ. How do you set a DJ though? That's the more important question. I'm not, I see like DJ only, but I don't specifically see a setting that says slash DJ set or anything. So that might be an, a useful addition to clarify how the DJ system works, but otherwise everything else is straightforward. Even the, your typical setting up of a playlist. So what's, what happens if I go slash setting DJ only? Okay, so it's just using the good old fashioned, make sure there's a role somewhere in your server called DJ and then give it to a person and congratulations, you just made them the DJ. Okay, that's pretty simple. Maybe you should write that somewhere people can see that before they use the commands, just so they don't get confused going in. All right, well, I mean, that's overtunes. It needs a little bit of polish. It needs to remove the YouTube support and it needs to kind of fix like the fact that slash help doesn't work. Or just tell people to go to the website. Like if I type in slash help, just provide me a link to the command section on your website. That's also just fine. I just want to know that a list exists. Point me there. So that anyway, that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This one has been a look at overtunes. Uh, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.